curious minds. Ready to unlock the secrets of our amazing world? Let's get started. Have you ever felt a sprinkle on your nose or jumped in a puddle? Rain fills our rivers. But where does all that water come from? Let's find out. Rain is part of an amazing, never-ending journey called the water cycle. It's how Earth recycles its water over and over again. It never disappears, it just moves around. The first step is evaporation. This is when water on the ground, in rivers, lakes, and especially oceans, warms up. The sun is like a giant hair dryer for the Earth. The sun's warmth gives water particles energy, turning them into an invisible gas called water vapor. Millions of these tiny invisible particles float up, up, up into the sky. The second step is condensation. High up in the sky, it's much colder. When water vapor gets cold, it starts to hug tiny bits of dust floating in the air. As more and more water vapor particles huddle around the dust, they turn back into tiny liquid water drops called cloud droplets. Millions of them gather, and a cloud is born. Clouds get bigger and bigger as more water vapor rises and turns into cloud droplets. They gather more and more water, getting heavier and heavier. The third step is precipitation. This is when the water from the clouds falls back down to Earth. As cloud droplets stick together, they get too heavy for the air to hold up. When the water gets too heavy, gravity pulls it down. Splash! Down comes the rain, falling from the clouds and back to the Earth. Rain is super important. Rain isn't the only kind of precipitation. If the air is freezing cold, water falls as beautiful feathery snowflakes, or tiny icy pellets called sleet. Hail forms in big thunderstorms. Water droplets are tossed up and down, freezing into layers like an onion until they're big, hard balls of ice that fall to the ground. Once the rain, snow, or hail reaches the ground, its journey isn't over. It keeps moving. It fills puddles, streams, and rivers, ready for the water cycle to start again. Plants need rain to grow. It gives them water for photosynthesis. And rivers and lakes need rain to stay full, providing homes for fish and other animals. The water we drink, use for bathing, and even that powers our homes, often started as rain. It gets collected and cleaned so it's safe for us to use. So remember, Every raindrop has been on an amazing journey. Keep watching the water cycle. Keep exploring and discover all the wonderful water secrets. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to Tender Intellects for more such fun videos.